Parkinson's on the move. Media on the move as you know it and love it. Can you believe this weather? We're going to do an everyday workout, something that I've been teaching for many, many years now. It encompasses just about every part of the body that needs to be addressed, something we need to work on. We're going to have lots of fun. If you want to make it more difficult, put some weights into your hands. If you want to make it more difficult, do it twice. The whole workout is between 15 and 20 minutes. You should be able to do this every day. It's always going to be a lot of fun. We're still in shape, as you can tell. We're still here. And we have some surprises for you coming up very soon. With any exercise, first thing you want to do is to stretch. Stretching is as important as eating when it comes to Parkinson's. So, simple stretch. Separate your legs a little bit wider than your shoulders and just start moving around little by little. Yeah, just loosening up everything that has been stagnant or dormant for a long time. Just sideways and breathe normally. By the way, you can use any music that you like. Just turn on any music, any radio station and just get to work. It's important that you like the music and you like the exercises. And now let's reach over a little bit. Always breathe normally. Reach. And reach. That feels good. Already I feel the blood circulating a little better and stretch forward keeping your legs straight and then slowly bend your knees come up slowly bend your knees come up we'll be doing a lot of squats reach over it's very dramatic isn't it you can do jazz hands if you're gonna give more attitude you can flare your nostrils it's just like Broadway and we reach to the other side Open those fingers, look straight into the camera, like it's an audition for something. And again, flat back, forward, bend your knees, and up, bend your knees, and up. If you need a little bit of assistance, you can always put a chair, just for a little safety, a little balance. It's entirely up to you. So, let's continue stretching a little bit. Open your arms wide, turn, Breathe. Arms up. Turn. And breathe. Arms up. Shoulders down. Turn. It's a great rotational stretch. Get your waistline, get your back activated. And your shoulders. Reach. Reach. Down. Now, left hand. And just hold, we're stretching our shoulders, our triceps, our biceps. Down. And reach and wrap around. Is this fun? You having fun yet? And reach towards your knee, extend the right arm up. And back to center. And one. And again, now let's warm up our chest a little bit. Do flies with a little bit of resistance. And again, I'm just stretching. This is the easy part. And breathe fresh Moscow air. And it's recording, I hope. Someone's telling me it is. And breathe. And again, flatten your back. Our back gets a lot of needed attention. Bend your knees and up. Now, if you want to make it a little bit more difficult, bring your arms forward as you stretch. Forward, stretch. It's a very good exercise. We're going to use it again today. And breathe up. Need support, put your hands on the ground. You can hold on to your ankles. You can hold on to your knees. You can hold Hold on to your upper thighs. Up to you. And now we start little by little getting a little bit more complicated. 
legs together, and we're just going to warm up our calf muscles. One. Again, you're listening to your favorite music. And we're going up. And go as high as you can. Need more balance, pretend like you're working in a circus. Extend your arms. If we had a pole, we could actually use a pole. Or you can use a chair. Or you can give somebody $5, they'll stand next to you for the whole workout. Up. And up. Now separate your legs just a little bit and let's just do very shallow squats to start with. We're not breaking any records. We just want to make sure everything is warmed up and working. Now, if you want to be a little bit more aggressive, go a little bit lower. You don't have to rush. We're just warming up our legs right now. If you want to be a little bit more adventurous, go as low as you can. And always breathe. And remember, it's up to you how many of these you'd like to do. If you feel up to it, you can do 10. If you feel better, you can do 20. Increase your activity as you go. Now let's go back to our heel raises. Breathe. Breathe. Go as high as you can. If you need a little help with your arms or you want to do experimental ballet, get your arms involved. And that's how Swan Lake was created. And let's go to our shallow squats. Just a little warm up. Steady, breathe, enjoy the weather. And maybe a little bit deeper. Let's do four more a little deeper still. Good. Now, before we're going to isolate our necks, our shoulders, our chest, and our hips, we're going to stretch our neck just a little bit to loosen it up. Remember, our neck can get stuck in all sorts of uncomfortable positions. Look to the right, look to the left, stretch to your shoulder, and the other side, and again forward, and back, look to the right, look to the left, stretch to the shoulder, shoulder, and bring your arms up like it's a jazz audition. You can shake your hands. Now let's add a little bit of a knee bend to these stretches. Look down. Look up. Look right. Look left. Stretch to the right. Stretch to the left. And arms one, two, one more time. One, and look up, look right, look left, stretch, one, stretch, two, arms. Now, let's try the same thing just a little bit faster. Are you with me? Good. So, without knee bends, just stretch your neck forward, one, and back, look right, look left, stretch right, stretch left, circle your arms, one, two, three, one more time, one, two, look, one, and two, and one, and two, and left. And you can repeat the same thing while bending your knees. This is very simple. But if you notice, your neck is getting a little bit looser, a little bit lighter, and your flexibility increases. So you should try to do this 
every day. This is a great exercise. Now, I'm going to move profile, and I want you to focus on my shoulders, forward and back. I'm just moving my shoulders, forward and back. Go with me, forward, back, forward, and back. And again, one, two, one, two, as much as you can, forward. Circle your right shoulder back. Just the right shoulder circling back. Two. And three. And four. And left shoulder. One. And two. And three. And four. Now, circle your right shoulder forward. And one. And two. And three. And four. And left. One. And two. And three. And four. Now, let's try to circle both our shoulders four times to the back. Big circles. One, and two, and three, and four. Now forward. One, and two, and three, and four. One more time. Back. Breathe. Big circles. Three, four. Forward. One, two, three. And let's add a little stretch. Bend your knees. Just so we don't get stuck in one position. Let's stretch to the side. And to the other side. And reach to the right. As much as you can. Down. And reach. Down. Now, that was our neck and our shoulders. Now we're going to try to move our chest forward and back. Forward, like you're being aggressive. Who are you talking to? Are you talking to me? Who are you talking to? You talking to me? Forward and back. So I'm pushing my chest forward as far as I can, coming back to the center. And now as if somebody hits me in the chest, I collapse. That's really what the exercise is. It's stretching forward, and collapsing. You will also feel it in your back, which is great. We're basically stretching our back while we're doing this exercise. Forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. And again, if you would like to do more, you can always increase the number of repetitions. All right, the next exercise we'd like to call, who's your daddy? Well, maybe not exactly that, but something just like it. So, to better illustrate what this exercise is, I'm going to turn sideways again. I'm facing the sun. I have a smile on my face. I'm showing off my biceps. You know what I mean? So, now, remember what we did with the chest just a few seconds ago? We went forward and back. We can do the same thing with our hips. Bend your knees a little bit and go forward. It's rated R. And back. Forward and back. Forward. It's a great stretch for your hips and your lower back. I can feel it already. One, two, let's do ten. Forward, back, forward, back, 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 front, and a one. Two, two, two. Don't tell anyone. Now, so we did ten of those. Now, Bend your knees slightly, again relax, and now try to move your hips side to side. My hip is up, left, right, left. My lower back is working, my hips are working, everything is loosening up. One, two, one, two. Your friends will be asking where you got this video. BDOnTheMove.com. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four. And now stretch. Just a couple of circles. Drop. And let's go down a little bit. Stretch. Bend your knees. I can really feel it in my back. Straight legs. And roll up slowly. Slowly. Always come up slowly so you don't get dizzy. Now. 
let's do a little bit of simple swimming. We're going to stay in place. We're going to swim forward, freestyle. Press stroke, we're going to add our knees to this. Then we're going to swim back. And we'll try to do four sets of that. So get some happy music going, get ready. Deep breath, drink a glass of water, just water. I can wait. All right, you know you can always pause these. Okay, so breaststroke, forward. Swim with me, two. Now, one, I'm using my legs when I do this, so it's a really great overall workout. Breathe, separate the waves. Breathe. If you get tired, you can stop and build your stamina when you do this every day. And now, let's swim back. We're going to reach back, one, two, It opens up your shoulders, your chest. It works your stamina. We're gonna take a little break. Breathe out and roll up. You don't have to go all the way down, just a little stretch. So that was our first set. Freestyle, freestyle, breaststroke, and swimming backwards. Are you ready for set two? And use your legs and reach right, left. Now, forward, breathe, and push the waves with resistance. Let's take a deep breath, stretch a little bit. You can bend your knees, put your hands right on your knees and just stretch your lower back. Push. This is what I'm doing. Pushing my lower back up like a frightened kitty. It's a great stretch. So, set number three. Already, we've done two already. We do a couple of more. Do this every day, you'll forget what Parkinson's is all together. All right, swim. And legs, one, and the arms. Deep, resist, like you're pushing an enormous weight. Active resistance. And now let's swim back. Long arms. Rotate your shoulders. And let's stretch. Again, flat back. Arch your back. Great stretch. Long. And two. And again. One. And two. And one more time. One. So, if you're up for it, we can do set number four. You can do five, six, ten. As many sets as you need to do. You're in control. There's a pause, play button. You should use it all the time. Mainly play. So you can actually do the exercises. Instead of grabbing, you know, 
some sugary snack. Don't do that. Okay, one more set. Let's swim. Let's do it a little faster. It's our fourth set. We're almost there. Legs and arms. Two. A little fast. Three. And let's swim back. Open the shoulders. Open the chest. Coronavirus. I hope everybody stays healthy. Where did that come from? Well, we know. But if our immune system is strong, supposedly, we can outrun this thing. So, that was a little swimming exercise. It literally works the entire body. Now, should we do something for coordination? I think so. One, two, simple. One, two, one, two, one, two. And reach, 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 reach. What did I just do? I stepped and touched and I reached down. Same on this side. Then I reached across, full coordination, across. Then I reached up, up and across and across. So very simple. The legs do one thing. One, two. Well, two things. Two. One, two. You can even clap. So. Let's try it without clapping first and reach down, reach across, reach up, reach across. Now you have to clap. Down, across, two, up, up, across, across. Now, seems pretty simple, right? What if we pick up our leg? Instead of putting it down, we bring it up. It makes it a little bit more complicated. So let's try. One, two. One, two, up, up, side, side. So now, a little more complicated. Okay, so now we'll try to clap. Leg is up. You ready to try it? Not so easy, right? Yeah, it'd be nice if this was straight. It's okay. So, let's try it again. Simple, leg, leg, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. And reach, 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 reach. How are you doing? Am I going too fast? It's okay. Relax, breathe, get something to drink. Don't drink soda water, no sugary drinks. We have water. We have juice, mixed juice with water maybe. So down, down, shoulder, shoulder, up, up, shoulder, shoulder. Now, you want to make it a little more complicated? We can go down, touch, down, touch, down, touch, down, touch. Just a little extra element. Now reach, reach, across, across, and up, and up. Across, across. So you're going down, touch. There's a lot of stuff going on here. So it's not as simple as it seems. Well, it's not as simple as I make it seem. But remember, I'm a trained professional. Want to try one more time? Should we do up? I can see by your faces you want to keep it simple for today. So the elements are this. Step, touch, step, touch. Or step, lift, step, lift. Or down, up, down, up. That's what the legs do, very simple. Arms just go down, down, across, across, reach up, reach up, across, across. You can practice it all you want, it's yours. How about we take a trip down a canal on our canoe, canoe canal, and let's imagine that we're holding, what do you call those things, the oars, the paddle, the paddle I guess. And we're just gonna go down. Look at my arms. They stay in the same, if I had a stick, that stick doesn't move at all. And I'm adding my knees little by little. Now let's go a little faster. One, two, one, two. Bend your knees. 
you're kayaking, canoeing, whatever that it is. Oh, my lower back just popped. That's good. Now, hold on to the paddle and bring it to your chest. Down, just a little circular exercise with your paddle. Of course, we don't have a paddle, but we can imagine. And slowly we go again. I'm using my legs. I'm rotating my upper body. I'm holding my arms really steady. And down, bring it to your chest. You have a long, nice paddle. See, we don't need anything. All we need is some clever ingenuity, I guess, and the desire to live. In the meantime, keep your arms wide, right. I have to show off my bicep. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Resist. Imagine that something is holding you and you're trying desperately to bring it in. Now, elbows in. I'm only moving from my elbow down to my wrist. Everything else stays in place. One, two, triceps, four, six, seven. This is really easy unless you imagine that you have two rubber bands and you're pulling them. All of a sudden your triceps are jumping. They're really working right now. Now, arms in front, right. Still doing the biceps. Again, resist. If you want to get, get a rubber band and do this, perfectly all right. Increase the difficulty of the exercise as you exercise. Elbows in, bend your knees, flat back. One. Breathe. All right, so what do we do? We kayaked or canoed, I, I really don't know the difference, down the river or the canal. Then we took our paddle and did a few simple squats while holding the paddle, shoulders are down, and then we did biceps and we did triceps. We did a couple of sets, you can do more, you shouldn't do less. Two or three sets is a good start. You wanna work up to about five sets that you can do every day or every other day depending on your condition we recommend exercise every day like tomorrow you can stretch for instance and next day do cardio or this workout because it really encapsulates everything we need to work on are you ready for more huh what i can't hear you oh yeah you are so a little more be quiet a little more coordination heel heel toe toe i'm digging my right left i'm staying on my heels toe toe one two three four one two three one two go with me heel heel toe toe heel heel go high use your arms heel heel toe toe seems simple right well it is pretty simple but it's a good coordination exercise so Turn on some good music and dig your heels. You need balance, you need a chair, you need to lean on something perfectly normal. These exercises are for you. We're not doing them on stage. This is not a Broadway musical. Though I have to say, this choreography is better than some musicals I've been in. Just a little history lesson. So, heel, heel, toe, toe. Heel, heel, toe, toe. Heel, heel, toe, toe. Heel, heel, toe. Two. And do that three, four sets, arms to the side, arms on your hips. It's completely up to you. Now let's stretch a little bit before we finish. Roll your back. Roll your back. Now we're going to do, just to finish off for today, 
with little abdominal work, stomach muscles need to work, but we'll do it standing up. Separate your legs just a little bit wider than your shoulders. Put your hands and just squeeze your stomach muscles together. If you feel it in your hip flexors or your lower back, obviously you're not using your stomach muscles. So squeeze your stomach. It sort of feels a little strange, but actually it's the same thing if I were laying down and was doing simple crunches. It kind of feels the same. So if you feel the right muscles, you're working the right muscles. That's how it goes, basically. So, squeeze. Now, don't collapse your neck. We're not putting any strain on our necks. Stomach. Two. Three. You can do this laying down, too. Now, sideways. Now I'm working my waistline. Everybody wants to improve their waistline. Nobody really sees it until the last moment. Stretch and squeeze. Contract. Right. Left. Right. Left. Three. Two. And always between the exercises, maybe a sip of water, a little breathing, a little stretching. You are in control. All I'm doing is just tightening my abdominal muscles. The standing crunches. And sideways. One. And rest. One more time. Squeeze those muscles. And sideways. Always come back to center. And stretch. some help you can always write us an email we'll always respond we're here for you we have been here for you and there for you and everywhere we have helped a lot of people and we want to help you our site is free look at it learn from it if you have any specific questions call us write to us we will respond love stay healthy Oh, I feel better. PD On The Go is a revolutionary app designed to help you better manage your Parkinson's symptoms. You can work out while sitting, standing, or lying down. All your workouts are customizable to suit your needs. Start using your own PD on the go now, or save your workouts to use later. PD on the go. Your smart gym is always with you.